sustainability is really living within our means. So living in such a way that generations that come after us are able to meet their means without drastic alterations to the environment or to the resources that may be available for future generations. Passive rainwater harvesting is really just diverting water and allowing it the ability to infiltrate into the soil, either to feed plants directly around it or if in a large enough area or in a large enough volume to actually infiltrate down into the groundwater aquifer so that it's there for the future. I've kind of made the goal and the rule for myself that rainwater has to be the primary water source of my life. I drink rainwater, I bathe with it, I cook with it. Um, that's what I irrigate with. That's the first water source I go to. Choosing to put myself in that position, I'm learning so much more than what the potential is and what I can do with it um, as an individual and what I can do with it is with my community. This is my outdoor kitchen, so I like to keep it simple. I like to be outdoors, this way I get to be outdoors more. When I turn this water on, that's rainwater, okay? That's coming from these two 1,000 gallon tanks that collect the water from this roof. Water comes off the roof, it goes to the gutter, and then there's a screen that screens out the leaves, any critters, so just water goes through, all right? Fills this thing up, which is called the first flush. So. The first flush of water that's maybe got bird poop in it, stuff, more organic matter, dust, has to fill this first before the cleaner water goes to the tank. Okay, into the filter. And then the water will go through those two activated carbon filters and collect uh, in the bottom via gravity. Because that's my water filter. I mainly emphasize not tank systems, although I use tank systems, but rather the planting of the rain. So it's creating these basin-like shapes that uh, pathways and roofs drain into, and by capturing runoff into these basins, that runoff becomes run on, and uh, I'm able to increase available rainfall by many times. Because I'm not just getting the rain that falls from the sky, I'm also getting the rain that falls on these adjoining surfaces and drains to it. So even if it's a drought year, I can have abundance. Next to the washing machine, if you come around here, you can see there's four drains. Each drain sends the water to a different fruit tree in the landscape. So this is the drain hose. Every time we do a load of wash, we move the drain hose into a different pipe. Okay? With each load of wash. These pipes direct the water to different fruit trees. So we use rainwater for everything that we do out here. So for cooking, for drinking, for showering, for irrigating all of our trees and all of our garden beds, um, we use rainwater because it is a far superior source of water as opposed to either city water or well water. This is nuts. Look at that. Look at how much water is coming down here. This is insane. We're not going to try to control the flow of water. We're just going to slow it down, spread it out, and sink it into the ground. Most people have a catchment surface, which is going to be their roof. From there, you have a gutter system, which fills up your tanks. Um, from the tanks, you want to filter the water. Um, even though rainwater, in its natural sense, is very pure and is very clean, you still want to filter it a little bit. Um, but from there, from the tanks, um, the water just gets pressurized just through like a simple um, pump and, and pressure tank system, which is very similar to any well type system that you'd use. And then that's pretty much it. You just pump the water to wherever you want it. Make a little trench.
I would say for the most part, rainwater harvesting is done on a more personal level. Um, I do know that Tucson does have some incentives for rainwater harvesting, but it's not typically done on a grand scale because one of the biggest things that people need is that they need a collection surface. And it's just kind of like with solar. It's like you can install solar panels on any, anyone's roof and the same thing with rainwater. Um, if you put some gutters and some downspouts and direct it to a tank, anybody can harvest rainwater directly on their property. So if we're always constantly thinking that we can just pump water directly out of the ground, um, lowering the water table definitely has a negative effect on the environment. So specifically in Tucson, there used to be a river that flowed throughout there all year round. Now the river doesn't flow, and that was through the overpumping of groundwater. Tucson's home of over 12 Superfund sites, so we've got extreme groundwater contamination. Um, we aren't even coming close to um, harvesting the potential. I mean, the more rain falls on the city of Tucson than all its people consume of municipal water in a year. So water is life. If we don't have water, we can't grow food, and we can't survive as humans without water. So it's definitely one of those resources that we have to be conscious of our use and have a lot of respect for water. You should be pushing the city, the county. Um, you vote. So with your vote and with your voice, I demand more change.